good. Welcome. We're starting with private this week and we're going to kick it off with Climax Foods, which raised a 7.5 million round to um, and it was founded by an Impossible Foods and Google data scientist. And it's one of those new startups that are also trying to create a meat alternative. It's scanning for different proteins and then um, that exist in animal food products and trying mm-hmm. to replicate them in a way that doesn't use animal protein. It's starting with cheese. Uh, which, you know, to be clear, I know a lot about because I'm a cheese eater and I have many opinions about cheese. So I think they're taking on something pretty hard because if you say like, here's a faux Gouda, I'm going to be like, I have eaten pounds of Gouda. I know exactly how I like my Gouda. I buy expensive Gouda because I like it. And I, I'm going to go for it. I think my opinion after reading through this round is that this is the future and I'm just going to be a little bit slow to accepting that. Like, I think the the, the meat explosion has happened. Cheese will be next. And we already do nut based dairy. So, you know, I think that's already happened. So um, I'm excited. Yeah. Danny, what do you think? How's your diet going to change? I like cheese. I, I, you know, I grew up in, in Minnesota, which is, <laughs> you know, next to the cheese capital of, of the country. Uh, look, I mean, meat replacement has done really well, right? We have seen, uh, what was it? Beyond meat. Is it, I forget the official term. There's impossible beyond meat foods and impossible foods. Exactly. And unbelievable. Um, I can't believe it's not butter cheese. Um, so I'm looking forward to a whole selection of, of, I guess, meat protein, animal protein replaced products. Um, you know, it's great. Uh, let's expand the grocery store a little bit beyond, uh, beyond cows. Uh, this was One Ventures, Manta Ray Ventures, S2G Ventures, Valor Siren Ventures, Prelude Ventures, Artis Ventures, Index Ventures, Luminous Ventures, Canaccord um, Genuity Group, I believe, uh, Carrot Capital, and Global Global so Capital. Capital. I, I don't know who they are, but they're the only ones that seem relevant in this context. I mean, they are <laughs> on brand for the uh, the plant based food. Look, look. They should just call themselves, I can't believe it's not cheese. And then we could have avoided not making jokes about their name for this entire last two minutes. And I think that would be a more <laughs> appropriate title because we struggled uh, during prep for this, uh, this particular bit of the show. Anyways, we, that's cl- <laughs> I was going to say, we don't talk about um, kind of like the future of food often on this show, but I think it's something we should be looking into more because I think we saw Impossible Foods do a meat alternative that people are kind of taking seriously, but there's no way that they're gonna, it's going to start and stop with Impossible Foods and Beyond Meat. So it'll be cool to see the next wave approach things that haven't been done before. Yeah, on that point, I, I really think that's interesting to see how people talk about uh, not eating meat, not just because of animal cruelty points, right. but also because of climate change points. And the the founder, I think it was Oliver Zahn, uh, in this piece that Sheba wrote for us, uh, talked about the, the, econ- the, I can find the word, environmental impact of the meat industry and how it's uh, simply enormous from a carbon footprint perspective. So I think that I would have scoffed at five years ago, like, oh, who really cares? But now I, I think it's actually a relatively large chunk of the uh, population. Well, my guess is it's actually also a great market, right? Unlike meat, where meat is meat, right? You're eating beef. Beef has a certain flavor, certain texture you expect in a hamburger. You know, cheese has a huge spectrum of diversity, right? You have hard cheeses, sharp cheeses, soft cheeses, mm-hmm. everything in between. I think there's a little bit more flexibility in terms of producing a product that seems like something that it should exist in the cheese spectrum uh, uh, compared to meat. So not Gouda per se, it's going to be kind of Nuda and then it'll be a Nuda. new cheese. That, the moment <laughs> yeah. I said it, it didn't come out well. I was, I, yeah. You can go copyright that right away. I'm not going to. I'm going to pretend like I didn't say it and move us on <laughs> to, to Cap Chase. 